The Thing Library, cataloging and circulating non-traditional items. This report is an investigation into different library systems and how they are not just lending out books, magazines, DVDs, and all of the traditional things that we would typically expect to find in a library, but also all of the new non-traditional items that we can find in some of our country's smallest library system and even the biggest ones as well. This investigation will look at four different library systems, Charleston County Public Library, Berkeley County Library System, Dorchester County Public Library, and Clearwater Pinellas County Library in Florida. The first one up is the Charleston County Public Library. I had the opportunity to interview Stephen Schwengel, who's a reference librarian. They use CIRCE as their library management system, and the Technical Services Department is in charge of most of the acquisitions and cataloging of both the traditional and non-traditional items. They have everything from kilowatt voltmeters, which help with electricity costs, telescopes, and Wi-Fi hotspots. When taking a look at the Charleston County Public Library website, it's a little bit difficult to find some of these non-traditional items unless you know what you're looking for. So unless you know that Charleston County offers a telescope, it's a little bit difficult to find it within their cataloging system. The next library system is the Berkeley County. I spoke with Antoinette, who's a librarian at the Daniel Island Library Branch. They also use CIRCE and their technical services department is also in charge of all of the acquisitions and cataloging and labeling, getting everything from the uh, vendor to the shelf. They offer launch pads, which is a tablet made for children, Chromebooks with hotspots, and also mobile standalone hotspots. Again, it's a little bit difficult to find some of these items unless you know what you're looking for. So it's uh, when you type in launch pads or Chromebooks into the catalog system, what comes up is actually an article that was published about Berkeley County Library System offering non-traditional items. It's not the catalog entry. The third library system is Dorchester County Library. Jennifer Smith is a children's librarian. Dorchester County Library System has a partnership with SC Lens. They are 17 different libraries without the, with, throughout the state of South Carolina, <clears throat> and they all have a interlibrary loan program. Their technical ser services department handles the SC Lens requests as well as the local requests. Dorchester County Library also has a partnership with South Carolina First Steps, which is an early literacy program. And through this program, they have developed a series of STEM and literacy kits. It's interesting when you go on their website that you can do a search for literacy kits and you're able to see all of the different items that they have available. The last library system that we're gonna take a look at <clears throat> is the Pinellas County Library System. I spoke with reference librarian, Sarah Cornicione at the Clearwater Library Branch. Now I had the opportunity to visit this library when I was visiting my father just a couple of months ago. And this library is amazing. The things they have available for patrons, the spaces they have, it's just a really, really cool place. They use Circe as their uh, library management system. Their technical service to services department is pretty big because they deal with a lot of non-traditional items. They have developed something called the Thing Library, which deals with all of their three-dimensional items that they have to lend in their library. They frequently obtain public input to determine what other items they should add to the Thing Library, and the Thing Library has everything from power tools to board games. Taking a look at the Clearwater Public Library, we get to see uh, all sorts of really cool stuff. So if we go down to the catalog, this is where we can actually search the term thing library. And so what comes up is pretty much all of their three dimensional items. And you can also just in case, go ahead and refine it just a little bit more by clicking on 3D object. <clears throat> so as you can see, they have commercial stop shock outlets Ryobi power tools, a damaged screw extractor, and gosh, I can imagine times I could have used that, uh, an instrument tuner, a telescope, and more. It's really an amazingly comprehensive database. The 
The last thing is the Concord Free Public Library. And while I didn't interview anybody here at this particular library, I would like to share with you uh, a video that is an introduction to their library of things. Hi, I'm Andy Grayson, Project Specialist at the Concord Free Public Library. Welcome to the Library of Things. The Concord Free Public Library is excited to offer a new collection of non-traditional items to help patrons learn, play, and grow. Our goal in creating this collection is to further the library's mission of inspiring lifelong learning and promoting personal enrichment by providing technology gadgets and educational toys to check out that speak to the interests and needs of the Concord community. The library's curated collection of 23 things focuses on science, technology, and digital media creative tools. 22 of the things are available for patrons 18 years of age or older to borrow for one week, with one available renewal, assuming there are no holds. As you can see from this table, we have a microscope, VR goggles, a film negative and slide converter that converts original physical prints to high quality JPEG files, Dash and Dot, robots that teach kids the fundamental skills required for coding, a portable record player, and so much more. To explore our collection, visit the main library at 129 The next thing we'll take a look at is the MARC records and cataloging. So basically, how to organize all that stuff. When we take a look at a list of MARC 21 fields for bibliographic data, there are a whole lot of fields. And when we compare these fields, to an entry for a telescope at Charleston County Public Library, we can see that the title statement, for instance, over here, 245, is the Orion Starblast 4.5 inch telescope. There's also in 500, which would be the general note area of the Mark 21 fields. This would be also some general notes. It's um, modified for library use. It, it, uh, also has an attached bag which includes instruction manual and all of just some general notes that you would want to know uh, if you were cataloging this item and you would want the public to know as well. So when you are cataloging and you're in the technical services department, they are definitely using the Mark 21 fields within their LMS system to be able to catalog each of these items to make it mo the most accessible to the public. And that's really the thing, is that every system is different and every library is different, but the cataloging is all about making the resource accessible to the public. I do believe that in summary that Pinellas County did the best job with that, um, because if you know the term thingmabrary, you can search up any of those um, non-traditional items, such as the, again, the the damaged screw extractor and telescopes and all sorts of stuff. All you need is that simple search term. So they did a really fantastic job, whereas Charleston, Berkeley, and Dorchester seem to more rely on uh, public word of mouth or outreach programs to let the public know about these different non-traditional items that are available to the public. So. I hope that you enjoyed this report and I hope that it gives you a broader understanding of how to catalog and circulate non-traditional items. And the last thing I'll leave you with is it's not, an, uh, it, it's not a useful item if someone can't find it. So hopefully our libraries, uh, our Tri-County libraries in my area will do a better job of cataloging and getting that search term so specific so that all of the public is able to enjoy all of these amazing resources. Thank you.